Hey everyone, just wanted to announce SixCycling.com. It's coming to you just in time for the Tour Utopia 2024 put on by Flem Rouge. So we've got a little toolbox here, SixCycling.com. To start, we've got the link to the YouTube videos. This is going to be populated throughout the event to keep everyone entertained. Next up is Tour Utopia, which is coming up on January 2nd. So this is going to be the hub that you need for the entire thing. I wanted to distill all the information down to what's just needed. Things to get started here is once we click on this, we're going to see tiles. Each of the tiles is going to represent what you are looking for that day. We made them nice and big so that even with sweaty fingers, you can click on these. So you'll see we have the guidebook. Each individual stage has a tile. And then at the bottom, we've got the jersey competition. And then if you scroll down further, we've got the social links. We'll start off into the guidebook. When we click on the guidebook, it's gonna launch you into a Google document. This document will be kind of like the overview of the entire event. It's like the guidebook that UCI riders would get for the Tour de France, for example. Here we go, you're gonna get into this. We got a little bit of a write up here, kind of overviewing the whole event, what it means, what it's about. First couple pages, just gonna have a course breakdown. This of course lists all of the various routes that we'll be doing their distances, their elevations, what kind of course they are, and then we'll move on to a stage-by-stage -stage, uh, overview. You'll see all the vitals, a little bit of a blurb about what it is and, and what you can kind of come to expect, as well as you'll see here that we're able to showcase the terrain in a profile. Also a link to Swifter Bikes down here, which is going to be a, a good tool for selecting your wheels. And then we go down through each of these stages, and this is going to continue on to each of the stages is stage four and then stage five onward and onward back to the site uh, once we're done with the guidebook we can just click back on our torwatopia and then we'll go into one of the stages here so let's look at stage one as an example so stage one this now will be in depth this is for crazy obsessed little bit more depth when it comes to actually what's going on in the stage we have an overview key highlights some tips some expectations and again, we'll list any of the segments that, that you'll need to be interested in. As you scroll down, you'll also have a return to the hub. We'll scroll down through to the sicko section, which is the next section. We've got links to Strava. This will open you up to the course. Uh, you can look at that. You can look at the leaderboard, see everything, all of the details via Strava. Velo Viewer is just going to give us another option here. This lets us look at the, the route, bring it up in 3D, rotate it, look at everything but it also gives us a lot of stats over here that, that may not have been available on Strava. And then this is just your raw elevation, uh, elevations and what per, what percentage of them are above 5% or 4%. That's what this tool will show us. Last but not least, a breadcrumb. And what I, we've done is we've gone through each of the videos for each of the stages and we've broken those down bit by bit to showcase to you exactly what's coming up. We've got four categories. We've got a riser, a roller, a punch, and a KOM. And then the other side, we've got a descent, uh, something like a super designation. So when it's a super punch, so maybe it goes from zero to 10%. Uh, there are some of those on the roads. And then mixed surfaces and sprints. We'll call out the sprints so that everybody is fully aware that the sprint is coming. Those are the main tools. And then at the bottom of each, you're going to find a results uh, link. So you can click on results. This will bring us into Zwift Power. And then again, bring us back to the hub. So you can see you can go down through each stage. Each of these are all going to have a similar setup, a layout. Uh, you're going to see that each of them showcases exactly what's going on. It's happening with the tour because we believe that uh, Flem Rouge Racing is one of the best tours there is, especially on Zwift. So I wanted to thank everybody over there at Flem Rouge Racing for putting these on. They're really challenging and they allow us amateurs to express our fitness on any given day uh, during this event.